Jose, That's you cool. predicted Son would score, you predicted Spurs would win. What did you make of that performance? And I predict that the game was going to be difficult. Um, I think uh, I think the obvious is a very important result for us. A very important three points in this moment in this league, a part of Leicester City and uh, and Liverpool. Every other team is in a very hard group. You win a game, you go up, you lose a game, you go down. It's very difficult to win two, three matches in, in, in a row. So, of course, very important for us, these three points. I think uh, when we are playing very well, we have or we should score more goals and kill matches because then when the opponent is in control, the opponent creates problems and uh, you risk to lose uh, you risk to lose matches. But it was fantastic what happened after the 1-1, which comes in a difficult moment for us, where um, I look to the bench and I don't have attacking players to, to, to change the game, where um, the team is a little bit under fatigue, especially the Lucas on, of course, Lamella. I took him off because he was in, in trouble and he's a player that has coming from a very important and long injury. So difficult. So how can we change the game? We can change the game with the family spirit, with the family character, with the family desire, which was what um, what they did. And after the goal, very intelligent team, hiding the ball, keeping control, keeping the, 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 the ball far from our from our goal. So I think important victory, good victory, deserved, but a word to nourish. And uh, the same I told to Wagner, I, I, I tell you, I think this team, the way they play, they deserve a happy ending in, in the end of the season. Jonathan. I prefer not to know before I come here, so I come with a normal face. I don't want to come here with a, a very upset face, so I, I'm even afraid to ask. But when I leave here, I have to ask. Okay, got Gary up here, Gary. Hey Gary, you good? How was Lisbon? Good? Hmm? Lisbon was good? Hmm? Lisbon? Oh yes, sorry. Yeah, was good? Brilliant. Oh, it's sunny. Um, sorry, going there. <laughs> uh, FA Cup win, a uh, draw by millimetres the weekend, now this win. How much more important than just three points is it to get a victory? Tell us what you thought about the fight, the whole team fight tonight. Yeah, the team fight. Because the team wants to, to do well, the team knows the situation is not easy. The team, uh, the team knows that um, in this moment every point is a point that helps you in the table. Every victory makes you close some gaps. Every defeat makes you go away from, from your um, objectives. And... Um, Every player that was here today, uh, on the pitch, on the bench, uh, the ones that were not selected and were um, next to the to the bench too, is really, really, really a very good group. I keep saying this since the the beginning. It's a pleasure to be with uh, with them and uh, to work with them and to try to help them in such a difficult season for them since the beginning of. Uh, of the season, so today is a good is a good feeling. Uh, the one one, obviously, was a bit a bit scary for everybody connected with with us. We don't want to lose points today, but then the reaction was was very good, and I saw players really really tired going over their limits to try to to give us the points. So happy dressing room. Okay, good, Jack. Finish with Matt, and then we'll move on to Southampton preview. Okay, Jack. Hi, Jose. Right. What do you think of the return of Hugo Lloris' goal and the performance of the South Zone in the field? The return of Hugo is a mix of emotions for me because he's a, he's a happiness 
to see one of the best goalkeepers in the world to be back is a very good feeling for us. But at the same time, is uh, is one of these decisions that sometimes we must we must have it, but hurt, and to leave Paulo out hurts. Um, the good thing is that uh, he is such a good member of the family, and is such a special friend of Hugo that I think he, he also shared our happiness to have uh, Hugo back as, as a friend. But for me, he gave me a lot of, a lot of thinking and uh, I had to try to be cold to make a decision without emotions because uh, to leave Paulo out was not uh, a simple decision. Uh, Giovanni, I think, is improving game after game. And again today he was fantastic in in everything. I think he's adapted, he's adapting very well to the to the league. He can play in very in very various positions. He gives us lots of of quality, of vision, of passing. He's improving his defensive game. He's improving his intensity. The only thing that worries me is this new life of English football of playing and playing and playing. And in this case, he's playing all the time now because we don't have other other solutions. And even today, when Lamelo was out, no wingers. So Giovanni to the wing is hard. But I think he's good experiences for uh, for all of us. Good experience for the family. Okay, Matt down here, and then we'll go to Southampton previews. Matt. Can I ask you what you, what you thought the, the challenge on Harry Winks by Todd Cameron, a player who was on a yellow card and might have been lucky to get a red card for a challenge on? You know, normally, normally players and teams that play against us, they are all lucky. Normally, they are all lucky. But to be honest, I was too far for me. I didn't watch it on, on TV. I don't want to say anything about it. I don't want to say anything about the penalty. I, I was obviously too far. I didn't watch on TV yet. I don't want to say anything about it. The only thing that I want to say is that normally players and teams, they are lucky against us. Uh, Capoue was lucky. Watford was lucky. Uh, Robertson was lucky. Liverpool was lucky. Normally teams are very lucky against us. But uh, in these specific situations, I can't I can't I can't comment honestly.